this is me just dipping my toe in the cesspool of COVID in the Canadian Football League because EGA has written in and says, I'm done with the CFL too. And I don't understand <laughs> what the problem is with people, but I never have figured out what's the problem with people. Like Mike Horrigan's watching in Toronto on YouTube. He says, the cesspool is nice and warm today, Roddy. Jump in. I can feel it. I can smell it. <laughs> the Flames and Stampeders now out of Calgary have required a proof of vaccination for fans to go to the games. What is the problem? I've seen the lefties, or as you're looking at it, the lefties and the righties, they're chasing their tails so much they don't even know what they're arguing anymore. Right? They've, they've spun themselves right into, into the ground. And... One of the columnists on our website, rodpeterson.com, saying today, tens of thousands of empty seats at the Ryder Games tells me that people are afraid to go to the games because of COVID. So we should have COVID vaccination passports in Saskatchewan. I'm like, no, no. They sold out the first game, the home opener. They've sold out the next game, the Labor Day Classic. So two games in between weren't sold out. That was a money thing, not a COVID thing. People aren't afraid to go. I don't think they're afraid to go. Uh, then they're not going. Four out of five home games, four out of five weekends with home games is too much. That's why they're not selling out. And then major fight in our Instagram comment section yesterday with former Jacksonville Jaguar, Indianapolis Colt defensive end, and Rough Riders great John Chick going, going off about forced vaccinations and this and that. And it's just... I think we all overestimated how many people were going to get vaccinations here. And the reasons continue to be, you're not going to tell me what to do with my body, or I don't know what's in the vaccine. As a good friend of mine said, uh, I was talking yesterday, they said, if you don't have a driver's license, you don't get to drive a car. You know how to drive a car, but if you don't have a license, you don't get to drive a car. Yes. It's pretty simple. Why are so many people getting their back up on this? If you're not vaccinated, you don't get to go to the games. Pretty damn simple. And pretty soon you're not going to be able to travel and you're not going to be able to do a lot of things. And what I think is people just refusing to surrender. And you're going to start getting a lot of privileges taken away. I'm not telling you to go get vaccinated. You can do whatever the hell you want. But we're vaccinated fully and our lives are pretty damn good. Yeah. We're not missing out on anything. Nothing. So let's stop with the fighting. I'll say it again. The Winnipeg Blue Bombers showed the biggest nuts of anybody. I don't care if the province of Manitoba was behind it. It was the Blue Bombers that made the statement. You need to be vaccinated to come to our games. End of story. We were there. Everybody was having a good time. No COVID outbreaks. And now there's a lot of pressure on the local pro football team here because they're not requiring proof of vaccination as we sit here right now. One of two teams left. But this is what I know about the local football team here. They don't like to have anybody upset at them. And I think that's why they continue to sit on the fence and not make a decision either way. That's just my take, having worked there for 20 years and with the regime that's running the team now. They're too afraid to upset anybody. And when you do that, you upset everybody. And they're dealing with that muck today. So good luck with it. Hey, everybody, thanks for watching the RP Show on YouTube. And don't forget, we're live daily on YouTube from noon to 2 Eastern. If you like what you see, hit subscribe. And if you like the program, check around for other segments of The Rod Peterson Show here on YouTube.